Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Joe. This is my Python room. Hope everyone has had an awesome day, and I hope you guys have an even better weekend. You're probably wondering why I'm holding all, all my snake sheds. A couple from Nina, a couple from Zeus, half of one from Charlie. Only a half of one because, well, when I got her, she was dehydrated. So when she shed, it wasn't a full shed as you saw in the previous video. But for the future, for upcoming sheds, I've been really maintaining the humidity in her tank. So I'm confident that she'll be giving me full sheds. But to get back to the question, what am I doing with all these sheds? Well, I've been seeing a lot of people on these groups on Facebook and whatnot post, hey, I got my snake sheds. What do I do with them? And other people are re responding to sell them. That gave me the idea of, hmm, how can I sell my snake's shed? So I started looking online, I started Googling and whatnot, and found a really, really cool way to sell his snake's shed. That is turning it into jewelry. That's right. Turning it into jewelry. Now check this out. Now, what I will do is take a charm like this and the glass that goes with it as you see, charm comes with this pretty cool black lace necklace. But ultimately what I would do is take a piece of paper, trace it out, take the shed. Now the shed, it is kind of crunchy, it is hard, but however, if you just wet it a little bit and let it sit, it'll rehydrate and get soft. So just place this on the, on the shed, on the surface, cut it out, and place that in, and voila. Now, these do come in all kinds of different shapes, all kinds of different sizes. As you see, there's the heart. And you got the circle, and you got a little square. It's kind of kind of bulged up. The uh, teardrop, and they come with all these cool, different-looking platforms, the bases. I forget the actual name for them, but. Yeah, I just uh, figured I'd work on this project right before Valentine's Day. I'm going to try to get them out. Well, I'm going to try to get some put together and and I'm going to post them on my Facebook and I'm going to post them on my Instagram for $5 each and um, all the funds, well, majority of the funds will go towards upgrades that I need to make to my tanks. I'm also going to put a certain percentage towards US Arc. Now I am a member of US Arc. You could become a member too for I think it's twenty dollars for the year. You can get I think it's like um like bronze or silver, I don't know. Twenty dollars for the year, forty dollars for the year, hundred dollars for the year. But um, U.S. Arc is basically this organization that go that steps up to the plate for us reptile keepers, breeders, and everybody in between. For example, right now there's this huge thing going on where a bill was just passed, and in the bill was this thing called the Lacey Act, and the Lacey Act. Basically, states 
that they're going to try to ban certain species of of snakes, of amphibians, of lizards, if uh, if it's not indigenous, if it's if it if it's not originally from where you live, then they're gonna try to ban it. They're gonna try to also ban transportation of that animal across state lines. So if you have a certain species of snake or a certain species of lizard, amphibian, and something is wrong with that animal, you cannot transport that animal to a certain vet that is across state lines. You know, that's a bummer. And right now, U.S. Ark is stepping up to the plate, sticking up for people like me and people like you if you own an animal like this. Basically, any animal outside of your normal cat, dog, farm animal, any animal outside of those, that's what they're trying to go, go against. And it has to do with issues kind of like the... Uh, What's going on down in Florida with the Burmese python? And has to do with all these accidents that are happening with keepers that are not being smart, using their head, letting their two year old hold the snake. They're not locking their cage, they're not locking their terrarium properly, so the snake is escaping. And somebody's getting bit, or worse, somebody's getting killed. And that's going to make headlines. And it's making everybody look bad. Everybody who has an animal like this. It's making us making everybody look bad. It's making the animal look bad. And this is why, this is one of the reasons why I started my channel. Was to show you guys just how docile... My animals are. You've seen me handle. Nina. You've seen me handle. Charlie. You haven't really seen me handle Zeus. And that's only because. He went through a shedding process. He shed. I've been feeding him. And I'm not going to lie. He doesn't really like to come out too much. So I don't force him out. Like I've said in previous videos. Nina. She doesn't like to come out either. But when she's when she does try to come out, I do take her out. Now Zeus, if and when he does try to come out, I will take him out. I have taken him out plenty of times before in the past. There are pictures of him out of his tank on my Facebook, on my Instagram. If you follow me on Instagram, if you follow me on Facebook, you'll see those pictures. Now, I'm hoping in the future to do a video with him. But you guys have seen videos, feeding videos of him striking and taking down these rodents. I also, you know, just wanted to show you guys. I picked up a bag of, uh, now it's a small bag. I got another bag coming tomorrow. It's a... Uh, Lucas Reptil Bark. No, this is not a paid promotion. I'm just a fan of Flukers. I have a few of his their lights. The ones with the dimmers. Let me show you for example. As you see. I think that the light having the dimmer is just awesome. Not only is it controlling the amount of light within the tank, it's also controlling the amount of heat. So if you just turn it on a little bit, it's gonna warm up the tank. It's not gonna get the, it's not gonna get the bulb or the tank as hot as it could be at full blast. 
but you gradually can turn it up. For me, what I do is in the morning when I wake up, getting ready for work, right before I leave my house, I just switch it right on. Then when I get home, around 5, 5.30 in the evening, shut that off, and I'll just leave the CHE bulb on. Each of these guys, they have a CHE bulb. Okay, I'm kind of getting off the topic. Sorry. Getting back to it. Um, yeah, so I'm going to work on making some jewelry, some necklaces. Now, for right now, it is only necklaces that I'm going to be making. If you want one, just message me. Let me know if you want a heart. Let me know if you want a a circle, a square, a teardrop. I'm uh, not really sure. That's oval. But uh, if you want one, let me know. And um, let me know when you need it by. And I'll start working on it right away. How many? What color? Um, I did pick up this construction paper. This is going to be for jewelry obviously but I don't know I just thought it'd be a pretty fun little project as you see his uh, is the plate for the oval and here's another plate this one here kind of has these uh, like ridges going around that's pretty neat Here's another one. The oval. But, yeah. Well, I think that'll do it for this video. I just really wanted to come on and, um, you know, let you guys know the project I'm going to be working on and give you guys a heads up. That way, that if you are interested in a necklace, if you have a loved one, or if you have a child that is into reptiles and would like to give them a pretty cool necklace for Valentine's Day or for just whenever, so here you go. You know, just uh, yeah. Let me know what color. Let me know what shape. In the meantime, uh, I'm gonna work on them <clears throat> and uh, get some pictures uh, posted so you guys have more of an idea of what they look like the finished product all right well i think that'll do it i hope everybody has a safe weekend stay well thank you for following me if uh you wouldn't mind drop a comment down below let me know if you like this video let me know if you've been liking th these videos if uh there's anything particular you would like to see if you would like to see more of Mina, more of Charlie, more of Zeus, if you want to see more feeding videos. Oh, another thing. I do have another animal coming. Now, it was supposed to come a lot sooner than I had hoped. So, some things have ha had happened. Basically, within like the next like two weeks, it'll be here. And, um... Uh, it does have quite a few legs. Let's just say that. That's all I'm going to say. Anyways, guys, if you like the videos, please give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment, something, please. And if you don't like the videos, instead of being a negative Nancy, instead of talking trash, instead of putting me down, leave me a comment. Give me some advice. What I can do to make it better for you. Okay? Otherwise, I'm still going to do it. And you're still going to be a negative Nancy. I'm going to end this shot of Nina. Hi, baby.